Hi folks, this is Chris Voss from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Just coming in here with another blog post installment. Be sure to check back daily. And I uh, want to talk to you about something you should do with your website, your business, uh, whatever it is you're uh, working on to make you money or brand you, etc., etc. Uh, always be tweaking. Now, <laughs> probably the first thing that comes to mind when I say always be tweaking, you're like, do I really have to get on meth, Chris? No, you don't. Uh, what I mean by always be tweaking is always be tweaking and improving stuff. Always be turning the knobs so just a little bit to see what results you're going to take and get. One of the most successful things most business people do is they're always tweaking. Whether they're tweaking from the very front line or the very front office, they're tweaking all the way to the back. They don't stay within the realm of their own department. They don't stay within the own realm of their ivory tower. They get out and they tweak from front to back. They see what the front people are doing, how they're spending their time, what cost-effective savings they can establish by making new improvements. The one thing you always have to do with your business is your business is, number one, in a constant state of change, and also the world is in a constant state of change. So you've always got to keep improving things. And the one frame, mind frame that always helps me uh, you know, keep going through my business ventures is I always remember there's always a way to improve anything, which means nothing is ever finished being improved. There's always a way to make something better. When you look at a paper clip and you look, you know, when I grew up, it was just a little steel thing that uh, came in one size and, you know, did one thing. Now you look at paper clips, now they're, they do all sorts of things and come in all sizes and colors, shapes, and different things that they do. So always be tweaking your business and don't just stay in your realm. Make sure you look at how the customer's perception is of your company. What do they see when they look at the outside of your building? What do they see when they look at your website? What would your impression be if you could stand outside of yourself and really look at what you're doing and how easy it is for them to operate uh, within your business and purchase your products and get to know your service? So take and always be tweaking. It's very important. And always be just get in the habit of looking at your business, looking at everything you do, and just doing a routine assessment. Okay, how is this doing this these days? How's that doing these days? How's this doing these days? The worst thing I can ever hear in a company is, well, we don't know why it gets done that way because everyone else has always done it that way. So we always do it this way. And it turns out whatever they're doing is a complete money loser or just a hole in the head to the business holding it down. So always be tweaking. Pretty much always look at your business, especially if you get a little bit of spare time and focus in on a portion of it and say, how can I make that better? If there was a way to improve that, how we do it? Sometimes your employees or sometimes the people um, that advise you may know how to do it better, and if you ask them, they may be able to tell you how to do it. A lot of employees do stuff and they don't challenge because they don't want to be seen as being negative to the system, but a lot of employees sometimes know how they can get the job done better, and you should elicit them to, be, to have an environment in your office where they can contribute. So be sure to ask and always tweak and maybe ask people. I always ask my friends and the virtual board of directors that I use to take a look at my websites, take a look at what I'm doing, and give me advice. It's very important that you do that. Anyway, thanks for coming by. And remember, always be tweaking, but stay off the smack. See you. Bye-bye.